does it. <laughs> Inglus. Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii, the channel. Okay, we got this going on. Okay, it's that's that's going. Oh, oh too much. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay. Well, uh, how's it? Welcome to uh, May seventh. It's Tuesday. I got so much. Please leave. Please leave. I thought it was the ghost. The ghost do bugs chiming in. Uh, uh, I got so confused. I, I kept making like it was. This was going to be Wednesday. I say I. Tomorrow there's Toastmasters. Today I got an appointment, so it's just garbage day, and it's it's Tuesday. Okay, and, and uh, uh, um, uh, there's just so much stuff. That's what's also confusing too. Okay, the wind, the wind and the rain is I don't know. It's kind of supposed to be going out, but it was kind of weird again. Yeah, no, yeah, I think it's gonna get rainy again. Jeez, weather. Okay, there's. The war in Israel, and then there's the war of the GOP commencing in the tr criminal trial of the ex-president Trump. Now, the ex-president Trump won, um, well, the other, one at a time. Because <laughs> everyone wants to hear this over and over again, right? No. Let's just look at it and throw it away. In Gaza, the... Brokered ceasefire deal was jumped on by Hamas. Yes, we'll give you some hostages. Stop ceasefire. Ceasefire for a long time. We'll give you all the hostages. Now Israel's like, hmm, you know what? We were just about to prepare to invade and I mean uh, incursion and and then you do this. So they're like, nah, was, uh, no, I, the terms are not right. So Israel's back down and they're already doing stuff. So it's like, they're already going into Gaza. So that's going back on. Oh, <laughs> campus protest hit my mind. Now, that aside, there's, and that's tragedy, but that's, you know, war. And the, the Trump trial, different type of war. Well, it's just weird. Okay, what? One, Stormy Daniels is testifying today. So this is the Stormy Daniels testification. <laughs> testification. <laughs> this is where Stormy Daniels gets up there and they ask them. He's already asking questions. I'm watching like the CNN with Anderson Cooper. Mr. Mr. Anderson, you are very young, Mr. Anderson, but yet you have all white hair, Mr. Anderson. Do you mind? telling me why you're not part of the matrix so uh they're saying that she's on asking questions getting asked questions about her encounters with trump this is stormy daniels now adult entertainer where trump's coming up to her is like yeah you want to be on my show the apprentice well take it off take it all off maybe i'll consider your apprenticeship. <laughs> That's what he was doing. So it all has this big <laughs> thing to it. But the main thing is they're trying to connect the dot between those payments to reimburse his former lawyer and Trump. They're making that direct connection between the dots. When you look at the overall picture, it's like, oh God, why are you arguing over these little straws when you're just like, it's obvious, you know, well, all these people are trying to spin it because if they make that connection, then he's definitely guilty of the business fraud. And they're trying to, you know, don't make those, don't connect those two dots. So that's where that's kind of heading right now. So it's the spins of, well, but it's even more weird there than spitting evidence and uh, testimony is these GOP people trying to scramble to be who's going to be on Trump's vice president ticket. How are you? <laughs> they peg him for winning. Like, he, he might be winning in polls, but polls are everything. You know, I don't think every, I don't, mm, but because of polls are close, he's going to win. 
and and so these vi these GOP people are wanting to be picked by Trump for the vice president. So Trump again, even from the courtroom for vice president, is going. You want to be in my apprentice vice prince vice principal vice president? Whatever, it's cheapened. We're going to be the apprentice. Okay, I'm trying to make it funny. <laughs> it says, run, run now, run. You want to be on my uh, apprentice vice president ticket? So, uh, take it off, your dignity, take it all off. So there's this one guy from Ohio, DJ Vance. They asked him uh, about, aren't you nervous? Because they wanted to kill Mike Pence with the January 6th riot. You know, they wanted to kill Mike Pence with the January 6th riot. Aren't you nervous about being vice president? He threw the other guy to the wolf. He's like, well, no, I don't think, I don't think he, uh, Pence was, nah, nah, he wasn't trying to kill Mike Pence. I don't think he was, I think he liked Mike Pence. He's spinning it. It's like, dude, they had a noose, a strung up noose outside in the White House yard. In the capital, the yard of the capital, rather, and there's a noose, gallows, and then the whole crowd is chanting, "Kill, hang, Mike Pence, hang," and and running, and he's running away. <laughs> like, no, I don't think that was happening. <laughs> Jesus, what the fuck? They ask him, "Oh, you know, uh, do you think the 2020 did, did Joe Biden legitimate? Did you know 2020 election was legitimately won by Joe Biden?" And he's like, mm -hmm. "No, no, they didn't ask him that question." They asked him if the 2025 or 2024 election, so it's 2025 wow. president, run now, 2025 election, and the results come in in January. So the 2024 election, will you adhere to and accept the results of the election? He couldn't answer that, yes or no. The answer would be yes. <laughs> democratic process the results this is what the people wanted who they voted for yes but no he's like uh well uh, i'm confident trump is gonna win i'm uh I, but yes or no will you accept the over and over yes or no would you accept the 2024 election results nah, 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 nah. well i might my answer is Trump's gonna win. <laughs> oh God! So there it is. It's it's being primed for a denial, uh, whatever. If they lose, of course, they win. Uh, it was unfair. They deny it. No, they're just ready for it. If they lose, they're gonna deny it. And then there's also the uh, uh, welcome to Christy Noem Noem No Noem Christy Noem from South Dakota. I went through South Dakota. I've been seen, seen some people from South Dakota. South Dakota's brutal. Uh, that's the Badlands in, in uh, Deadwood, in South, South South Dakota. That's where um, the Battle of Little Bighorn came from. Is the Battle of Wounded Knee in South Dakota? <laughs> so South Dakota, cold, harsh, Spartan. But this lady from Christine's well back on the farm, and I had to put down one of my puppies. So she took one of her dogs, a puppy dog, with a gun to the gravel pit on the farm because it just had some bad behavior. She took it to the gravel pit and shot her puppy, and she killed the puppy. It's like, she's like going, she's. She, I guess she wants to appear pro NRA and tough. It was a bad, it was a working dog, so no loss. It's life on the farm. <laughs> the puppy was bad, and she shot it. Holy <laughs> shit. And then on the way back, on the, how do I know this? She wrote it in a book trying to promote herself. <laughs> it's like, it's like, what? Shooting the puppy is promoting yourself? This is politics. So she's walking back from the gravel pit Stay with, me. with the smoking gun, and then she looks over, and there was the billy goat. The billy goat. Ah, the billy goat almost got it too. Didn't it? The billy goat. But she did say if she was elected, and you know, if she was in the 
White House lawn, you know, President Biden's German Shepherd commander who bit some Secret Service agents before. It's kind of funny. <laughs> the Secret Service agent. Good dog, actually. But he bit a couple of Secret Service agents. So he's like, if I'm in the White House lawn, this is Christy Nome. Commander, better watch out. She's going to be, she's saying, Commander, say hello to Chippins. What was it? Cricket? Cricket, her dog. She shot her puppy dog, Cricket. I did forgot to say that. Say hello to Cricket, Commander. <laughs> she wants to shoot the rest of the dog. That's the crazy freaking. Oh, there's one more crazy freaking news. I mean, this is just endless crazy. This is kind of weird, but it's kind of hard to put together. So, uh, time's up. <laughs> Aloha. Have a nice day. <laughs> God. Uh, one more thing. Ten times Trump broke his gag order. Ten times. So the judge is fine, it's fining him $1,000, and it's like nothing for Trump. So 10, 000, you know, 10 times, you know, so he's going against the, the, just can't talk about the jury or the staff of the judge, and he's out there just initiating that after every court, initiating that, initiating that, violating a gag order. And then he's saying, they won't allow me to say anything because of the gag order. You just can't attack these people. You can say anything you want, but he's like, oh, I can't attack these people. My freedom of speech. Ten times, and he got nothing. And so these thousand dollar fines. So the judge kind of went, you better, one more time. I might have to consider putting you in jail. And they're like, mm, it's probably not going to happen. I don't even know I don't want to. But if he does, if Trump has to spend overnight in jail, guess where he goes? He goes to Riker Island. They figure Riker Island. <laughs> Sorry. It's a prison on an island, Rikers. And Rikers has a West facility that might suit the purpose perfectly. The West facility is built in the 1990s as an infectious disease unit. <laughs> Rikers, the infectious disease unit in Rikers Island. That, that, okay, enough. That's just this. Hawaii's got news too. Watch. See? Ooh, look. <laughs> There's the real estate report for Hawaii. Oh, look. See this house right here? This modest little house right here. This little, little old Hawaii house in a yard with a fence. $1.1 million. <laughs> 3,672 acres. Market improves. Oh, the houses are okay. Russia's old drills for tactical nuclear weapons. Well, that's the first time I saw that. I did. Okay. We're going to practice with the nukes. Okay. That, mm. Oh, my God. It's the end times. I know it to be true. Oh, a week of pomp protects Putin's confidence. I don't know. We're going to play with nukes. And they're sweeping the homeless for in the Maui. See the rapid trend? Okay, here comes the big... Is it rapid transit? They're gonna build the big skyline in Kaka. It's coming to Kaka'ako. Kaka'ako is right next to Ala Moana Shopping Center. Kaka'ako! They're gonna you know, build the big pillars and here it comes. We're gonna condemn all your other stuff. Oh, okay, you're ready. There's just so much stuff. You know, just you know, calm down, relax. Let me just long. Remember when we wanted to relax in 1960 and you just kind of. Jeez, when it relaxes, bury your face in a giant watermelon. <laughs> this is the mayor. This is mayor. mayor. 1960. Mayor Neil Blaisdell. Who's a <laughs> Blaisdell Center so named after? Demonstrated prize winning technique. Massive wet of watermelon at the Windward Fair. His prize winning technique. So he won a watermelon eating contest. That's why he's mayor and he got a stadium, or not the stadium, international marketplace. No, oh, where that place is. Sorry. Three bodies found in Mexico. Oh yeah, they shot the, uh, they shot the surfers. Oh gosh, what's in sports? Okay, this guy. He is the pole man from Kamehameha. This is his pole position. He's a High jump? No, this is the pole vault. Pole vault, excuse me. That's the first thing I tried in, in track pole vaulting. I tried it once and the guy says, um, you should be shot with discus. <laughs> I want to do pole vault. No, shot with discus. I want to be pole vault. No. Alright, finger in the pulse. Just, just, just. Uh, uh, uh. Oh gosh, a little bit of cartoon. Migrants. Hit it again. Hotter. 
Some of more votes. <laughs> the migrants, they'll vote. Migrants. <laughs> they want to vote for GOP. They want to vote for Trump. It's, it's, it's true. They've interviewed them. I don't know why. You know, they want to get All right. Serious. Palestinians held hostage by Hamas war strategy. University demonstrations across the nation address the effects of war in Gaza. Activists seek action against Israel because the conduct of the war has led to the killing and, yes, that too, the killing and injury of thousands of Gazans. Gazans? Joining the protest message are nations demanding at least Toy. a ceasefire to allow the provision of food and medicine to Gaza. Missing in the outcry is the fact that the war was initiated by Hamas and that the war could end tomorrow if Hamas freed the hostages and ended resistance. While the fate of the hostages is obviously a concern, attention should be given to the fate of innocent Gazans who are hostages by design. Victims of a Hamas strategy to deal with the military mismatch which is not okay with Israel. It uses the Gazan plight to garner international support, some of which is seen in the university demonstrations. Thomas Freitas, Mariner's Ridge. Commanded. Okay, thank you, Thomas, for talking in tutu voice. That's really cool. Where? Now the voice box is just the ghost box is just you know all, all active. Okay. Nine. Yeah, Thomas, that's that's true. That's you got it. I'm just glad that you said it. <laughs> what? do you do? I mean, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Well, Israel's doing what they're gonna do. Uh, the current administration is in support having Israel do what you're gonna do. And they, they tried to tell you, you know? What's the war? The war? No, no. Just thank God you're not in the war zone. Anyways, that's nice. <laughs> Isn't that nice of you? <laughs> Thanks for saying that. Okay. Anyways, it's Tuesday. Aloha. So, aloha to you. Aloha. Oh, look. Look at the water. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's going to be nice, I think. I guess. Maybe, maybe. Oh, isn't that great for that? Aloha. Aloha.